Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Eric. And this is Knife Making Tuesday, week 56. And today we're going to make grinder stuff. Alright, we're going to finally work on our uh, new knife grinder. And we're going to machine some of the aluminum parts of it, and Eric's taking care of that project. This week, we are working on the grinder. Um, still haven't had it, gotten it done yet, so we are just about to drill some holes, and I'm going to do some manually here while John's writing some uh, code to do some CNC holes and other stuff. <clears throat> so let me show you what we're doing. All right. So I got my half inch piece of aluminum there. I got a couple marks for my holes, and we're just gonna run it down. All right, so I'm just gonna turn the air on here and put the spindle on, and we'll do this hole. That helps if I plug the fog buster into the air. All right. That's better. And let's hold the that. As I'm stuttering, I realize I need to turn on my fixture plate. And I was saying, uh, hope my clamp holds. Not bad. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna move the stock down a bit and uh, drill a few more holes. Nothing too exciting. Two holes here drilled already. One there, one up there behind the nozzle. And now I'm gonna make it look like Swiss cheese. Cause I'm gonna cut a hole here, here, here. Here, here, and probably there. Um, reason being is John just isn't sure exactly which hole we're gonna use. So we're gonna have options. And here's the finished product. It's not uh, too pretty. Some of those holes are rough, but it doesn't matter. It's just a grinder, right? So earlier we tried uh, to machine this part. We're part of the grinder here. We're going to cut it down here for one piece, and then there's going to be another piece up here uh, with a few holes drilled in it. And we were trying to do it with just using the vacuum pallet, but as we were making these big cuts here, uh, I was actually pushing the, the work piece sideways just a little bit so it wasn't working out so well. So we put in two more clamps and we'll see if that works.
don't know if that was my imagination, but I swear I saw the whole thing shift quite a bit. And yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. How thin is it? Like, can you bend it? Yeah. Oh yeah, sweet. Hmm. It's probably about 10 or 15 thou thick. Yeah. Maybe 20. That's dangerous. <laughs> hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So how are you gonna get rid of the edges? Grinder. Nice. Not this grinder, of course. <laughs> yeah, it'll finish <laughs> itself. <laughs> Brilliant. So what I'm doing now is drilling out these uh, holes here. Since we used the, the vacuum pallet, we didn't go all the way through. So as you see here, there's like a half inch hole with probably a 20 or 30 thou metal in between. So I'm just taking whatever drill bit I had in the chuck and running them through. I've already gone ahead and done the other ones. So I'll just show you this little one here. Handy dandy table with a hole in the middle. That was a thick one, but it was easy peasy. Yeah, now I'm gonna get the Dremel out and clean up the inside of the corner so they match the holes. All right, so this is what I'm using at the moment just to uh, get the little lip out of the holes. I've already done a couple and now I'll do a few more. And my methods are probably uh, unsafe but uh, meh. Alright, so I'm gonna just do a quick 40 grit to get the corners off and on aluminum it's gonna just eat through it so that it's gonna be fun. Good enough for government work. I guess we're all done for now. Until next time. <laughs>